so <clears throat> I'm going to do a short video on how to take care of your bear can and this does not apply for everyone it only applies to those who have the uh, the bear right I think it's <clears throat> it's essential to know um, about taking care of this after you're done with a hike and mainly the places that you're going to be concentrating is it's going to be on the on the tabs where the screw head locks into the mechanism here and the gasket here okay so basically what I have is a little wet rag I'm just going to go around the gasket and try to clean whatever uh, dirt has accumulated during the time we were hiking and you're probably going to see this on the rag you know get it nice and clean this is basically getting it ready for your next hiking trip and the other thing is is essential uh, taking care of the can because this is where all your food is going to go into so I usually start off where the gasket sits um, <clears throat> you want to make sure that this is clean because it provides a good seal from preventing from water to get in actually when you get into altitude with this thing you could actually hear it fizz when you open it that's how good of an airtight it, it has <clears throat> so I'm just cleaning the the tabs the lock tabs and then I'm going to get in here because, you know, obviously I cannot get with the rag uh, completely. So I'm going to run this Q-tip along. And it can be any Q-tip. I just happen to have these. And just get the additional dirt off of the, uh, off of the gasket. And then in here I just kind of run my Q-tips just to get any additional dirt or anything that has been collected. I will do the same here with the tabs. Just go in here and just kind of wipe out whatever might have accumulated during the time you hike. You're also going to do, and you can see it is really filthy. You also want to do the outside of your lid where it's going to sit on the gasket. And obviously, you got to play around a little bit with your lid here, but anyway, wipe it well. It still has a little dirt in it, but so the essential part of this is you don't want to use petroleum on your gasket. Uh, you want to use some kind of a waterproof grease that you use for your faucet or uh, seals, I want to say. Stand to be corrected, it's still dirty. And I'm going to put just a tab right on the rubber gra gasket here. I don't need a lot. And then what I'll do is I'll run my Q-tip all along that outer edge, lubricating the, the gasket. This prevents the gasket from drying out and also it maintains the gasket well lubricated. And like I said, this is their essential piece of equipment when you're hiking, especially in national parks where there are bears. You want to take good care of uh, your can. You get it well lubricated and you're still picking up dirt with it. That takes care of that part. On the bottom here there is a spring, a lock spring. I kind of do is I put a dab of lubricant on this and I'll go underneath and lubricate that spring. Just slightly coat it and you're going to do it with all of them. This will allow you to do a, a smoother closing with the uh, the lock screws and you can see uh, still dirty then on the lock screws I'll do the same I basically take a tab of this this grease add it to the uh, q-tips and I'm gonna go right straight down to the center of this thing and kind of roll my q-tips in there And by doing this, you add a, a you know, uh, you extend the life of your mechanism. And then basically, I will, I'll put it down and use my key. I'll use my key and kind of uh, align the screws, make sure they close well. 
you know, and that's basically the maintenance to his can. And like I said, it's, it's essential you want to take care of this as best as you can, being one, that the, the can is a big investment. Uh, two, that it's, it's going to work well on the field when you're out there on, their, on, your, on your hike. And if you take care of it the way I'm doing, you'll have years to come and service you properly. Um, like I said, it doesn't apply to all those who will, don't have these cans because I know there's BV cans that people are using. Um, me and my wife use this can and I honestly love it. It's very light, but durable and strong. And you get a lot of real estate with this. There's so much space in this can. Anyway, thanks for watching.